seems like many of us make New Year's resolutions to get in shape after the holiday eatings. Well, Teddy Roosevelt can certainly be an inspiration for many of us. From the time he was a little boy with asthma and was becoming too much of an invalid, his father worried that he was retreating into a timid nature. So he said, Teddy, you must make your body. Without your body, your mind will not go as far as it will. And so little Teddy said, of course I will. And he started on a series of exercises on horizontal bars until he became and refashioned his body one of the most strenuous looking characters in our presidential history. And then he would relax every afternoon with some kind of activity, wrestling, boxing matches, a raucous game of tennis, or his favorite activity was walking in the woods in Rock Creek Park. We had a rule that you had to go point to point. You couldn't go around any obstacle. So if you came to a rock, you had to climb it. A precipice, you had to go down it. So the greatest story was told about the French ambassador who said he came for his first walk with the president. He was so excited. He wore his top hat and his silk coat, thinking they were going to be strolling in the Tuileries. And it turned out he found himself in the woods, climbing over rocks and coming down precipices. Finally, they came to a stream. He said, thank God, it's over. But then he saw Teddy Roosevelt taking off his clothes and saying, well, we better strip so as not to wet our things in the stream. So he said, I too, for the honor of France, took off my clothes, but I kept on my lavender kid, kid gloves. To be without gloves, he said, would be most embarrassing if we should meet ladies on the other side. Every time I pictured this ambassador, I just kept picturing this naked guy with la lavender kid gloves on.